and then Remington, you know, he doesn't really... Wait, say that one more time. I didn't hear you. Remington came back from his dad, because I got him Wednesday night overnight. He came here with a black eye, and he wouldn't tell me what happened. He wouldn't even tell Peggy what happened. He doesn't talk. He won't talk to nobody. Did, did the dad have a black eye? I don't know. We're All right, we'll watch for it. Watch for like okay. a bruise on his face somewhere, because that's the initiation part. Is you you gotta hurt a child, and then you gotta get like a black eye or some kind of bruise on your face. And you gotta show it off. Oh my god! I'm telling you right I now. Just... If that I've been in this industry, this stripper industry for nine years, have I not? I've been competing, yes, have. have I not? Okay, yes. I have. There is a group called Panda. The Panda Crew, okay. okay, you go look their shit up on Facebook and it looks very satanic, okay, and they are in Peoria now, over at Lux. You used to work oh, at Pulse, right, or yeah, at Fantasyland? Yeah. Do yeah. you know who Guy Brinkman is? Yeah. Okay, he's the one who bought Pioneer Railroad. Yeah. He took off to Vegas with fucking, how many, how many strippers to start running a brothel? I guarantee oh, you he yeah. is the man he was running fucking human trafficking under the railroad. No. Man, this is getting scary and freaky. I want my kids home. I want your kids to be home. We gotta do something. I can't. I, I, everything I do, I say with me a hundred steps a second, I get told, oh, you can't do that. You can't well, do that. They won't even let Jesse have unsupervised, and he's their father. We need to call legislators tomorrow. Okay. You call every le legislator you can in the count surrounding counties. You get them all involved. And you demand it. Okay. You, you tell them your story and you demand it. Be like, I know there's other families calling you in, calling this stuff and this is fucking serious. And somebody better come get my kids before all hell breaks loose. Somebody needs to investigate this shit right now. I recorded them to the, what is it? AI? You record your conversations. Record it. Record your con phone conversations. Fuck yeah, why not? Okay. Okay. Yes, so we need to report, report it to the legis legislative too. Because she's doing it too, but she's fighting and they're, they're doing the same thing to her that they're doing to us. The Advocate Center or the Advocacy Office, have they told you to contact them to file a complaint? Yes. Or I call the hotline. Out. Call the hotline so they can run you around? Yep. Yep, that's what they did to me too. They ran me around, they sent me paperwork, I filled it out, sent it back in, and I haven't heard anything. So, Remington's showing up with marks on his body. Michaela's showing up with marks on his, on her body. And we're just supposed to sit here and act like it's not fucking happening. Mm-hmm. Well, you... Uh, just, just, she just said if you want to come over, we can get all of our paperwork. I have a whole trunk full of all of our paperwork. We, we we're going to have to do this um, in a couple days. Okay, that's okay. you you call the legislators up, you record that stuff, and um, start sharing it. Something, something's got to be done. Because you got to expose it. You've got to expose yep, them. you got to start talking about it. you got to start speaking about it. Like, don't let them fucking scare you. Okay, I, I, I tried to, I freaked the fuck out when they first took my kids, all right? I did too. Okay, and now... Then I got angry, and mm -hmm. then I calmed myself down, and now I'm about to blow their fucking shit up with I everything that way. I've collected. Yep. Because I've got a lot, and they know it. Because I've been very loud saying, on my Facebook about it. Jesse, they keep saying, uh, Jesse has drops. He's supposed to do drops. I've went to every single one of his drops. They're saying he's not passing his drops. But then when we go to court, they're saying that they can't access his file now. That they don't have his drop. They don't have any record of his drop. We have all that. He has also goes to the methadone clinic. They have record of his drop there that he does there. We have everything. And they're just, they're, I swear they're out to get us. They they're are. They're not for us. They're out to get all these fucking people. They want their kids. They want money. That's so all it is. You know, I had to live through this shit as a child. And thankfully for this world that I did because I'm gonna bust their hustle out because I've seen their pattern with me and they're trying to fucking do it to my children now. Yeah. 
so fuck that. We, something's got to be done. And I felt like, uh, me and Jesse felt like we were alone. And then I remember reading on your Facebook about that. And I was like, wait. And then Rolly called you and it was like a sign to me. Like, no, wait, Jessica knows a lot so about you're, this. So you're waking up too, aren't you, Kara? Yep. And so it's not, you know, we... We were just like mothers. A yesterday when... It was like a yes, yesterday was a fine when Rolly called you, and then me and Jessica were sitting here talking. And I was like, we need to get a hold of Jessica. Jessica knows. Jessica knows what to do. Uh, girl, like I've been trying to demand. Like the I've had the st uh, Illinois State Police. We've contacted them. We contacted the Inspector General of this shit. Okay. Um, yep. We've contacted the Peoria Police. Um, we've contacted the D. I called the FBI. Uh, the DOJ, okay, like, Secret Service, like, all this fucking crazy ass shit, okay, nobody will even look at my evidence. Why won't my nope. state's attorney look at my fucking shit, all these lies that Peggy has fucking shoved up her fucking ass? There, I literally have yep. court uh, documents saying that I was at court when I wasn't. They're having secret court dates without me. Saying I'm yep, I'm I'm agreeing one. to these emotions, motions. They 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 did that once to us. They literally filed my fucking my public defender filed a motion saying that I did not want them to show any proof on why I took my why they took my children. Why the fuck would I agree to that when I'm screaming so loud on my fucking social media? They won't even. They won't even show us anything on why they took the why they took the kids. We've demanded it. I've asked my lawyer. I've freaked out about it. Jesse's asked his lawyer. He's freaked out about it. Connie's asked about it. Everybody in the family has asked for this evidence on why they took the children, and they will not supply us with any evidence, any paperwork on it. Have you met the lawyer in person? For meetings. And where? Have you met the lawyer in person yet, the attorney? You've been in front of the judge, uh -huh. so you've seen him in person. Probably. You're your state's attorney? Oh, it's and, over Zoom uh, or what? You said you got escorted uh, out of court. Yeah, I got escorted out of court by a uh, bailiff. For getting in your state's attorney's face? Uh, for screaming and cussing and telling everybody off and telling them that they're fucking retarded. How can they let my son go with a sperm donor who has never fucking been there? He's never once been in my child's life. He doesn't pay child support. He doesn't even know his name. He doesn't know his middle name, his birthday. Does he have money? Anything about him. No, he has a public defender too. Remington's lived with me for almost with me and Jesse for almost ten years, Jessica. And this motherfucker's telling me and texting me, and I have all the text people telling me to sign my rights over, oh. calling me all kinds of names, oh. telling me I'm a fake mom. He's a fake dad. He ain't never fucking been there. Telling my son that it's my fault that he was never oh there. God. It was said in court that he had to take me to Fulton County Court. To get, to get visitation to Remington. Now, Peoria County is telling me I have to take him to court to get my son back when this is a Fulton County case. I've talked to Fulton County. Fulton County said Peoria County has nothing to do with Remington and they can't take him. This is the shit I've been fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. I've yelled, I've screamed, I've flipped out. I have to keep myself calm in court because he stands there and calls me names outside of court, calls Jesse's name outside of court to tell Jesse he's going to beat his ass. Do you know how name? bad it is for me What's to his sit name? and not do anything? What's Greg, his... Greg Atkins. Greg Atkins? Yep. Let me check him out. Where does he live? Uh, Kingston Mines. Kingston Mines. <sighs> yep. Okay. I am just getting sick and tired of this. Every day he's texting, telling me, sign your rights away to my son. You're a fake don't, mom. You're don't a piece do of it. shit. Print. I'm not. I'm not doing it. And I told Peggy that uh, I want Remington to live with me. And she said, well, he's already living with his dad, but I'll see what Remington wants. And I was like, okay, whatever. I said, I'm not going to sit here and fight and argue, but I am going to fight in court for my son and all five of my kids. You got a printer? Uh, no, I don't. All right. I don't, I'm calling off Jesse's phone right now because I don't even have a phone. Get one. I'm getting pissed. They told me, uh, okay, it says, they told me my kids had to have their own beds and bedrooms. Okay? They do. Remington sleeps with his 36 year old dad in the same fucking bed. Okay, they're just old. trying. They fucking told me my house was condemned. My, I have such a nice house. She can just, like, she contradicted herself, though. Like, 
Is there a paper from Peoria or wherever you're at saying that your house is condemned? Is there a fucking thing on the door? No. Then no, no it's not condemned. She can fuck off. All these people are really starting to piss me off, and if they give me one more new fucking caseworker, which they probably will this week, coming tomorrow or Tuesday. No, or Peggy. Wednesday, Peggy's I'm the best one sleep. they got. Peggy's the best criminal one they got. So I mean, she was probably purposely put on your case. I'm not even playing. We're we're gonna fucking to... tear Peggy a new they, asshole. They gave my son. Okay, listen. My record is clean. I have one DUI from before I got pregnant with Remington. Remember, I got DUI with Savannah. And then I had a deceptive practice from when I was 18. They tried to hold that against me in court. But yet, Greg has mm, drug charges, uh, domestic violence. On the paper, it says that he's been narcaned or narcan eight times to bring him back to life on eight Ugh. different occasions. And they let my son go with him, and I have absolutely nothing on my record from when I've had kids, since I've had kids. Nothing. My record is fucking who's clean. His, who's his public defender? Oh, Andy does he have a lawyer? A drug court. Does he has a public defender. Who's his public defender? Some woman, some really tiny, skinny woman. Stephanie Wiesner. Yep, I think that's her name. That's my fucking public defender. She fucking fought. The judge will let him have him. With all, I have his whole fucking background, not just in Peoria County, but in Fulton County too. Good. You need that. And they let him have him. You need to file that into your case. Drug, he, with all these drug charges and just graduating drug court out of Peoria County. And I have no drug charges, no domestic violence, no nothing oh. on my fucking record except for a DUI from 2009. And, and we need to get out of Illinois as quickly yeah. as possible. That's not even a yeah. joke. That's no. not a joke. I can't like, even... I went to school to be a CNA, and I can't even be a 